Okay, we got asked to do this speed test for you guys. So we're doing 50 miles an hour, it's 106 degrees outside. Chiller's turned off, so it's completely heat soaked. If you see there, fluid temp is 132, IAT 136, and you can see here, coolant 201, oil temp. I'm showing you these ones so you can see we're at operational temperature. And obviously here, completely heat soaked. So what we'll do now is we'll turn the AC on. But watch how fast that can drop. So AC is currently turned on. There we go. Starting to drop already. So let's see how long it takes and what it gets down to. As you can see, it's cooling incredibly fast already. I mean, we've already dropped off 12 or 13 degrees, 14, 15, it's going down like a bit of a video game there. Um, obviously cooling down that entire fluid mass. Uh, it's about three gallons on this car with the reservoir. So, cooling it down very quickly. Now imagine if you had, you know, three gallons of 135 or whatever it was, degree fluid you put in your freezer. It ain't gonna change that fast. As you can see, we're getting all that temperature out. Now you gotta keep in mind as well, because we got it up to that temperature with no cooling, that blower was completely heat soaked. So not only are we changing the temperature, but we're also removing all of that heat soak at the same time, because there's gonna be a lot of it now, allowing it to get that hot. That blower will be toasty. So still coming down, and that'll continue to come down quite rapidly. It takes a little longer to get really, really cold. It's easy to get cold. It's harder to get very cold, but we will get there, and we'll just continue videoing and filming it through. I'm starting to slow down here for some traffic. Keep an eye on those temps. Still going to come down even when we stop. Working their way down. Let's turn this fan speed down a bit just in case it's affecting the camera, the wind noise. So we're completely stopped now. Very, very hot day today. Pretty sure it's like 105 outside when I checked on the phone earlier. So, extremely hot here in Texas. As always, it's like this every damn day here. So, 62, 60, coming down nice and quickly. Still coming down. So, eliminated all of that massive amount of heat and reducing the heat soak at the same time because that blow would have been very hot letting it get all the way to that temperature. So this is the part now where it will still continue to drop but the rate of decline in the drop will start to slow down because like I said, it's, it's easy to get cold, it's harder to get very cold. It still gets there but it just takes a little bit more time because you're asking more of it and you're getting a lot closer as well to the boiling point of the refrigerant. But it's still going down and it'll continue to go down until it reaches the minimum IAT, whatever that is today. I'm not sure what it is because I haven't checked first. You know, came out here with it turned off first for you guys. But we'll keep driving, we'll see what we get down to. We're doing 45 now. And we're down at 44 for the fluid temperature. You can see that IAT has declined a lot too. I'm not sure what it was at the start there. I think it was up around 140 or something. And that's obviously knocked a whole chunk out of that as well. But you gotta keep in mind as well with that IAT on these Hellcat based superchargers, the IAT sensor as we've shown in the Hellcat plug and play video, where we prove to you how the IAT is actually in a dead air location. And that reading that you're seeing there is not a true intake air temperature because it actually reduces in temp when we go into boost when you blow the cold air across the sensor because the factory sensor is in a dead air location. But as you can see there, down to 39 for the fluid 
temp. Continuing to fall. But getting very nice and cold. 107 outside now. It's hot. I can tell you that much. It's very, very hot. Seven They're working extremely well. But there's a bit of a speed test how quick it works for you. Three gallon reservoir on the car, and I'm guessing we went from 140 or whatever it was, 135 down to 37 in only about five minutes. 35 about five minutes so it does not take long at all and 60 miles an hour 107 degree outside this is the point now where like I said it will it's hard to get very cold we're still dropping as you can see 33 so instead of dropping you know, a degree every couple of seconds, it's a degree every couple of minutes now, minute or whatever it is. You know, it takes a little longer because you're getting closer and closer to the evaporation temperature, the boiling point, I should say, of the refrigerant. On a day like today, I think that's probably about as cold as we're gonna get. I'll continue to film, but I think that's probably the limit We'll see how low it goes. I don't think it will go much longer. I'll give it another couple of minutes. We'll see. So, completely eliminated the heat soak knocked the temperature all the way down. Couldn't ask for anything more on a 107 degree day. At 32, uh, it, it still went down. I wasn't, I didn't think it was gonna go any more, but it did. So, couldn't ask for any more. 32 degrees on a 107 degree day. Working exceptionally well. we go a little further. Just for you guys, see what it gets down to. That's got to be about it. Yeah, it's flickering 32, 33, so I'd say we're at the limit. Give it a bit more and see, but I think we're there.
the cold air is cooling it off. And it goes back up afterwards because it's also increased the temperature a little by going 